My name is not Arnold, and I'll be right back. Right? I'll be right back. Right? Right, right. Don't change that dial. I'll be right back. Don't you dare. I'll be back. This is Mitch. Please do not confuse me for that Arnold guy. I want to show you some of my guitars I got over the years. I'm getting them right now, don't go away. I'll be back. This is a Mexican Stratocaster. Player series. Made in Mexico, he is a very good guitar. Very good. All I know about it is, it has three of these things in here. He turned these things and makes it louder. And it sounds good. That's one guitar. How a bit back. This is a Monoprice, Monoprice Cali Classic. It's a copy of a Stratocaster. It weighs probably about five pounds, four pounds. It's like very light. I like that. I like it that it's very light. By the way, I used to be governor of California, but she's stressful. And then smooth is a is a baby. Well, if the, if the, the humidities. Oh, you know, they got this warm again. <laughs> oh, humidity's still pretty low right now, but... It's smooth, smooth. Jack, it's smooth. This is what started it back. Me getting into playing in 2015 after not playing for about 10 years. I decided to get an American... Deluxe Stratocaster. I awarded it in 2015. Maybe it was the end of 2014. I forget. Anyway, it took like a couple months to get it. Uh, and very good guitar. Uh, but at the time, the most expensive guitar I ever bought. Could it's back in the day. But back in the 70s, early 80s, you could get a Hughes American Strat for $500, $300, whatever it was. It was Nothing like what I paid for this, which was about what I paid for this 14, I think. But it's stepped in one of those pickups, which all the professionals don't like. Sounds good to me, Jan. But it does. Probably I do see a difference between this and the, uh, this is my favorite one out of all. And, uh, in best playing and selling one, I think I like the modern price playing better than the main in Me Mexican. Just play building wise, but sound wise, still sounds better than Mexican. About the made in Mexico stride sounds better than the modern parts, but it still sounds good. Nothing's wrong with the modern price. So, just a quick little, little, little video they were playing. Just uh, me playing around with my voice because I sound like Arnold. I'm using AI. Voice AI.
It's crazy they're gonna be making movies one day with actors that have passed away. And we will not be able to tell the difference. Can you tell the difference that it's not me talking? Well, my voice is being enhanced with this AI thing and... Anyway, I just give a little preview. And I'm in the market. I've been looking. I want to get another sheep guitar up on. I bought the Cali Classic, which was like 70 some dollars. I bought the uh, LCD ES. P E E A B C D M G E S L C D Ron 50 um, EC10 that's nice and I'm looking for another one. I almost there is new ones on uh, the Fireflies. I almost Dr. Trigger or one of those and got real close by doing the uh, the HSS Cali one that they had on sale it was real cheap but these just right now the uh, the sunburst that color one um, but. I got I now. Look at all these guitars. I got every. I got ten. And I don't how I'm playing ball. Did a while since I played this. Anyway, but you know what? Uh, I was in my local music store, and a friend of mine just got the. Uh, he got the 40th anniversary. It's like a teal green Strat. We're knowing that. I he got. I think he got. Excuse me. I think he got the Tele. But I saw some Strat ones in my local music store, and he had a blue and a. Like a maloon type one, like five hundred dollars, and uh, I didn't play it, but they had a well enough working feel. I mean, it's got the uh, behind you wanted, and of course nothing new. Schwab, perhaps you know, but that was looking a lot of the cheaper stuff. And if I would get something there, they would fix it right away. They would fix it for me before I picked up. Okay, I wouldn't charge extra. I wouldn't think. But anyway, um. But it, yeah, I'm looking at some of these cheaper guitars, and uh, but I don't know if I'm I'm really if I'm going to get another Cali or um, actually I was looking at also look at those cheap Epiphones. They are the uh, the Epiphone special ones with the P90s. Uh, I think they got them for 200. And sometimes they get on sale for yeah you know, 100 less than that. And I'm seeing nothing but good reviews. They always has the one. Kale piece on there and everything. It doesn't have the uh, stop bore or whatever it's called. It just, it just, just has the one piece, but it does have where you can adjust each tray for the uh, into the. And I had one of those one time. Uh, I had a black one. I think it was the second one I bought it to this. I knew you could cover. But I don't think you could adjust each title, although it didn't have the P90s. But the thing played good. It really played good. I just. No, mm -hmm. Like everything, huh? All right, so that concludes my look at my three Strat style guitars. I have the American Dogs Strat because what you don't make anymore. They might make it, but not here. This was made in the United States, so it was American Strat because you lost. And then I had my the white one was made in Mexico that I got about a year ago. Uh, and then my Cali Classic. I don't like I like them all. I like every single. The reason why I like the Cali Classic because it's white. It's very like now when I have some of my uh, I have circulation problems because I'm an old son of a you know what. And when I have a sip on my knee, my bee will fall asleep. It does. It's not as bad with the white one. That's very light the Cali Classic, and the neck feels great. So, all right. Thanks for uh, listening to this video. I'm hearing noises. Did you hear that? What is your name and who are you? So, I'm just talking about myself. Because I'm not trying to sound like Arnold, but the AI is sounding like Arnold because that's what I picked. Oh, Ripa.